my name is Raphael Walter. I'm an innovation architect at SAP. So what we're going to do in this short video is I'm going to show you how to configure your SAP Analytics Cloud Connector uh, on your SAP Analytics Cloud in order for you to be able to uh, access your BI platform universes. So uh, first of all, we're going to go and look for the on in SAP uh, and support.sap.com and we're going to be looking for the SAP Analytics Cloud Agent. So as you see, we have a new release available, the 1.0.93 on the 20th of February, and we're going to download this. Then uh, we are going to install this inside of the, um, the BI platform that we have. So I'm going to go into my program files, SAP Business Objects, Tomcat, Web Apps, and I'm going to copy the uh, C4A agent that we see here. Once you've uh, copied this in, you will stop the Tomcat server, the web app, and you will restart it. And uh, automatically, it will deploy the SAP Analytics Cloud uh, connector. So once this is done, we're going to go and we are simply going to go into and log in. So administrator by default. And uh, by default, the password will be managed, but you can, of course, uh, modify this. So we are logging into your platform, your BI platform, and the port will be, by default, 8443. So uh, what you then need to do is you're going to add a sub-account. So here, when you add the sub-account, you will select your region host, the sub-account name, the sub-account user, and password. And where can you find this information? Simply, you go into your SAP Analytics Cloud, and you go into Systems, Administration, and here you have all this information on the second tab here, Configuration of the Data Sources. And here you have the uh, sub-account uh, name, and the host that we see here, and the user. So you're just going to get this information, enter this in the sub-account name. And then what you'll need to do is define the uh, cloud to on-premise. So here, what you'll simply do is you'll define uh, other system, HTTP, give it a virtual name, a virtual port, and give it the uh, internal host of your BI platform and the internal uh, port. The last thing we'll need to do here on this is also to give and to configure the resource accessible on the virtual host. So here, if we want to edit this, we're simply going to use the URL path C4A slash C4A underscore agent slash enable. This is really important. And then uh, set this to path and all sub path. One last thing that we're going to do. So we're defined, we've defined the virtual host, the virtual port, and uh, links to the actual BI platform that we have. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to define a user as it is stated in the installing SAP Cloud Agent in the help. And once again, if you have any problem, really this is a mine where you can get a lot of information here. It says to create a user for the SAP Analytics Cloud Agent and assign the service role to the user. And you will need to create a user using the following line in the Tomcat user.xml edit tomcat.conf. So basically, we're going to go into uh, this uh, page. So I'm going into, sorry, into my file. So program file, SAP business subject, Tomcat conf. And here, I'm simply going to open this and add a new user. That's going to be a service with the role, role name, new service. User, username, C4 agent, password, welcome with the role services. Once this is done, basically we're almost finished. So we're going to go back into SAP Analytics Cloud and we're going to define this in the agent of the SAP Analytics Cloud. So you're going to use a virtual uh, name that you've given. So here my agent, the port 8080, and then use the uh, user that we just created, C4 agent, and then the password. Once this is done, you'll be able to create a connection to your uh, universes. So I'm going to go and look for uh, this here, edit. So 
here you have the information. We're going to log in to the uh, CMS of our BI platform using user and password. And that means that we're also going to be able to create a model on top of that connection. So once you've defined a connection, we want to use a data source, use the universe connection. And we're going to use the connection, which is the BI4 universe that I've just created. And now it's retrieving the list of the universes. And of course, as you know, I'm going to get the <laughs> eFashion universe here. So eFashion, next. And I'm going to be able to get all the information from eFashion, fiscal period, city, etc., etc., and also maybe some kind of um, KPI, like uh, maybe I'm going to go for hmm, promotion, extended price, or if I want to get uh, revenue, sales revenue. And now I'm simply going to go creating the uh, query, retrieving the information, and creating the model. And of course, I'll be able to use that model inside of a story. So this was just to show you uh, what you can do and how you can very quickly, in just five minutes, configure your SAP Analytics Cloud to uh, connect to your SAP existing BI platform using the SAP Analytics Cloud Connector. Thank you very much for your attention.